of aggressive expansion isn't working out too hot for me. What I could do is have take one of my rivals and just humiliate them. Not that I need the power projection because I don't know what to do with my points. I feel like time is very important for this, but I don't know what to do with mine. Good buddy up with mixed tech. Sorcerer again. I'll just blow the admin power. Quitzio gets all these terrible events. Well. Pieces up with us the Tlaxcala, which means I can fight this whole thing again. Zapotec is very weak right now. Tlaxcala. Just a tiny bit stronger. Uh, these guys, whoever they are, what do you call? Totenak is five thousand between them, which I can see. Zapotec has four thousand, and their little buddy has another two. So if I crush one side and then knock the other back while I siege, I've got full manpower. I mean, if time is an issue, that aggressive expansion, man. There's no coalitions, though. Why are there no coalitions? Do they disable coalitions for this area? Because it really feels like it. Wait, can I join a coalition? I forget where that is. Form coalition against. Is it just the truces? There's no coalitions forming because there's always a truce? That might be it. So as long as they stay on top of these things, they won't form one. I feel like at this point, if I play with fire, they're going to, and it's going to be really bad. I need a general. Army tradition hasn't been rising as much as I would have liked. Alright, not bad. Will do.
Another thing I could do to clear um, aggressive expansion is to annex and release. In a cycle. I'm honestly not entirely sure if that would work. Zapotec will not join. Well, this is perfect. Let's just do it. This is going to be a short war. Let's take our mercs. Well, okay, hold on. Can I? I can't merge. I can't consolidate regiments. Seems like a bug, but I don't know what to do about that. So, we have two here. These two will get the other provinces. Let's leave all the mercs there, right here. Well, no. One of you will not. Go there. Not that I have a manpower problem, I don't know what I'm doing this for. Doesn't make a lot of sense now that I think about it. Spread out the siege, and we're done. Aztec peasants are getting kind of high. Who are you? Aztec peasants. We can't suppress that down to zero. <laughs> War exhaustion's almost gone again. In that brief piece. Okay, so, what do I want? I could take them as a vassal. I can't take them as a vassal and this. 
It's a shame. I like how I can take their vassal's capital, though. But I can't take them. I'm still very concerned about the whole aggressive expansion issue. Because it's only going to pile up. I have to do this three more times. Well, pretty much two more now. I just need one more. Willing subject. Ugh. His mixed tech is almost up. Hmm. So, yeah, the aggressive expansion doesn't seem to matter much. Seems risky. I feel like as long as that, there's always truces, everybody's got truces. They do seem to expire at varying times. Coalition will never form. Strangely enough, this guy doesn't feel that I've uh, offended as much as everybody else. Hmm. Oh, we've come this far this way. Can't be too afraid to make mistakes. Can get that unrest down further. If I can get rid of this for a while, I can uh, sit on this for a bit. And then go to war with the next guy whose truce runs out. So that'll bleed away. So I'm going to go for Tlepanek because they're going to be the harder one. Better relations over time guy. Yeah, I'll pay for this. That's something I could really do with. 